newspaper files of the early West record many stories of famous and notorious characters of that period. Kate Bender lived on the old stage road between Fort Scott and Independence, Kansas in the 70s. Some of the travelers moving west in those days never reached their destination, and the name of Bender became another word for depraved and heartless murder. Cousin Jake. Fine, John, fine. Listen, young fella on the coach with a poke full of gold and a store bought in suit. Got that? Uh huh. Tell Kate I'll see her in town tomorrow. What excuse are we gonna use this time? I don't know. Burn down the bridge if you want to. Bye, Cousin Jake. Young feller, store bought in suit, poke full of gold. <laughs> Burn down the bridge. <laughs> John, something wrong? Yeah, Billy. The bridge burned down. Well, doggone. Sure wouldn't want to go down that old road through the bottom with it getting dark. No, I'd never make it. Hear that, you feller? Looks like we're going to have to go back to Thayer for the night. Shucks. You don't have to do that, Billy. Me and sister will put you up. We got extra beds. What do you think about it? Yeah, all right with me, driver. I'm in no hurry. The house is just over that rise there. Well, hop in the back, John, and I'll give you a ride. Thanks, Billy. Ah! It's awfully nice of you to put us up for the night like this, Miss Bender. Oh, there's plenty of room for you here in the house. The driver and the other passenger are already asleep in the bunkhouse. Your future is all right here, Mr. Ward. Bright and inspiring. How does a pretty girl like you waste away her whole life out here in the middle of nowhere? This is your fortune, I'm telling, not mine. Do you want me to continue, Mr. Ward? What does it say about love? Am I going to be as lucky in love? What's the matter? Are you afraid to tell me? Get yourself in the coach. I'm ready to pull out. Hey, Miss Bender! Tell my other passenger to hurry up. I'm a day late already. He left early this morning. I sold him my roan stallion last night. Boy, that was a fast deal. I sure hope you didn't get yourself out horse traded. Don't you worry none, Billy. I always do all right.
Railroad detectives don't often get a summons to the private office of the chairman of the board. But this was a special matter. Mr. James Ward's son was missing. I'm Matt Clark. The young lady is my partner, Margaret Jones. Mr. Ward, where was your son the last time you heard from him? Fort Scott, Kansas. How long ago was that? Three weeks. Well, that doesn't seem too long. What makes you think he's missing? His last letter was from Fort Scott. He expected to write us from Independence, but he never did. Oh, yes. Here's a picture of Charles, taken last year at Huntley University. He was graduated this spring, you know. And I thought it might be a good idea, before he joined our office, if he took a trip west, saw what the railroad's doing for the country. How much money was he carrying? I think he drew out about a thousand dollars. Mind if we have this? If you wish. Spare no expense. Do what you must. I'll personally underwrite every move you make. Thank you, sir. When you find the young scamp, you can tell him for me. Tell him to write more often. His mother's terribly worried. We'll tell him, sir. Goodbye. Let's get started, Jonesy. Jonesy and I arrived in Fort Scott on March the 29th. The agent here says he doesn't remember him. The records show that if Charles Ward left there on March tonight for Independence. Can we get to Independence today? No, we'll stop it there tonight. Old Pete Halloran's a constable there. Retired railroad detective and a real character. Get up. Well, the truth, Matt, it ain't as all fired quiet around this neighborhood as you might think. No, sir. <clears throat> now, that... That disappeared lad that you've been looking for. Might interest you to know that he ain't the one. <laughs> oh, I don't see anything funny about that, Pete. Oh, no, I'm serious. Some half a dozen people have disappeared hereabouts. All strangers. Go on, go on, go on, Pete. I know it for a fact. The letters that have come, two or three a year, all from people asking about relatives and friends they haven't heard from since they left Fort Scott for independence. You haven't done anything about all this? Oh, I've been trying to, but... Oh, people around here, they're all laughing at me. Seem to think that somebody's joking me, that they just won't cooperate. Jonesy, what do you say we make Thayer our headquarters for the next couple of days? I should think so. You know a good place to stay around here, Pete? Well, I can put you up all right, but I don't know about you, though. Oh, our hotel's all right for traveling men, but <laughs> not for a lady like you. But tell you what, we'll go across the street, Jake Coleman. Yeah, he has a combination grocery store and stagecoach station. He knows everything that's going on here. Come on, let's get the bags and we'll go over. Huh? Uh, Jake. Hey, Jake. Hey, Jake, where are you? Hi, Pete. Oh, sorry, Jake. I see you got a customer. Well, oh, that's all right, Constable. I have plenty of time. Oh, howdy, Kate. Oh, this won't take much time. I just want to ask him a question. I got a couple of friends here from uh, Kansas City. Now, I can put up Mr. Clark, but the girl offers me a problem. You know, that crummy hotel and all. You got any ideas, Jake? Well, let me see. I take in boarders once in a while, if you don't mind being a few miles out of town. Oh, how nice of you. You sure I wouldn't be putting you out? Putting me out? <laughs> Why, you'd be doing me a favor. Just think me way out here in the prairie and you just fresh from Kansas City with all the latest Eastern styles and gossip. In fact, I'm going to insist. Your friend here, he... Oh, I'm sorry. Matt Clark. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Kate Bender. Margaret Jones. You can pick her up a horse at the livery stable. Then you can get back and forth any time you want to. My wagon's out front if you're ready to leave. We're all set. Here's your groceries, Kate. Kate, here's the best fortune teller in Kansas. He may be able to help you out in your little problem.
And don't you worry about getting back to town. The men folk will bring that horse soon enough. Sit down here. I'll brew us a cup of tea. Thank you. It'll only take a minute. I've got to talk with you, Sister Kate. Well, can't you see I have company? I've got to talk with you, Sister. Well, talk. We've got to talk by ourselves. Will you pardon us, Miss Jones? My brother's not very bright, and I have to be very patient with him. Cousin Jake's waiting in the gully. But I just left him at the store. Cousin Jake says to tell you that their lady's a railroad detective. She and a tall stranger are looking for that young feller we bury. Shh. Cousin Jake says to tell you we gotta kill Billy Hilton. <laughs> Stop that. Go back to Cousin Jake and do what you have to do. What go on? Hi, fellas, what's up? No, John. Dropped off a horse for Jonesy at Kate Bender's and continued on down the Independence Road to meet the stage. And there she comes. And by Jiminy, Billy must have fallen off at one of them turns. Too. You know why Billy Hilton was killed, don't you? No, don't have the slightest idea. Do you, Matt? Well, I can think of two good reasons. He knew too much and you talked too much. Now, hold on. Hold on, Matt. He... Retired railroad detective. You probably been blabbed so much you had to fire you. How many other people did you talk to besides that grocer? Well, I ain't told no one. I've been with you all this thing? Of course I can. Bring it into town. I'll be at the grocery store. Give me... Are you positive you were right here all afternoon? Well, where else would I be? Can you prove that, Mr. Coleman? <laughs> Why accuse me? You, I talked to half a dozen customers this afternoon. Any one of them could have killed those two. For your sake, Mr. Coleman, I hope you can remember all the people you talked to. Take a look at this map. Found it in Billy Hilton's pocket. Yeah, it appears like a diary or, or a log, like Sea Captain's Keep. You see? See the dates? And, and the names of the people, almost all the people he carried? I didn't get a chance to read it through. You still talk too much, Pete. Yeah. I take back everything I said. You're a real detective after all this to this. Yeah, thanks. I knew that all the time. March the 9th left there with Ward and Harrison as passengers. Yeah, that, that, that's the fellow you're looking for. Yeah. Stopped at dust by John Bender because of burned out bridge. Hey, that bridge did burn out, eh, rather mysteriously, too. Stayed the night at Kate Bender's. March the 10th continued trip with Harrison. Ward having left before dawn on horse bought from Kate Bender. Now, how does that strike you two? Oh, I don't remember Kate selling any horses. Do you, Jake? How would I know? Is that the place where we left Jonesy? You mean you suspicion Kate? Seeing it's the last place where young Ward was seen, Kate Benner better have proof of sale on that horse. Take care of Coleman. I don't think too much of him either. Hold on.
when you come back from Cape Benders, you're going to be wanting me. Hey, put that gun down, Jake. Let's talk this thing out. That's right, Jake. Shooting us won't help any. I know that. I just keep running and running until I got out of breath. I don't like killing people. I can't stand the sight of blood. Well, if you didn't kill anybody, why don't you tell us all about it? You just tell Kate that I did it all for her. So I'm going just like I said I would if things went wrong. If you die, Mr. Coleman, it won't be that way. It'll be at the end of a rope. Must lock him up. Let's get over Kate before she finds out who Jones is. Come on, Jake. Come on. I'll be back this evening, Miss Bender. Can't it wait until tomorrow? No, I'm afraid not. You see, my visit here isn't entirely social. Yes, I know. I beg your pardon? You're looking for a young man. A missing and very valuable young man. But how do you know that? The spirits tell me many dark and secret things. Through me, they could tell you what you want to know. Stay with me and we'll call on them together. Well, thanks a lot, but I really must go. I'll take you up on that some other time. You want I should help you? No, thanks. I can manage by myself. Let me down! Let me down! John, let her alone! Well, you found what you came for, didn't you? I thought I told you to burn all his belongings. I did, but... That was so nice and soft. It was good. Decide what we're going to do. And don't let her out of this house. Yes, sister. And you leave her alone. John, do you hear me? Leave her alone. Yes, sister.
Jonesy, everything's all right. Where's Kate? She's out in the barn. was dead. So disfigured, her close friends were unable to recognize her. Before nightfall on that day, March the 31st, 1871, more bodies were found buried in the garden in the front of the house. It was a clear case of murder. Kate and John were already dead, but Jake was certain to be hanged as an accessory. Well, they found Charlie Ward. I have to send a telegram to his dad. Yeah. I'm not very good at that sort of thing. Would you take care of it for me? I'd rather face John and Kate Bender all over again, but I suppose somebody has to do it. Fine. 